Hello and welcome everybody to this new Dungeon Fork tutorial. My name is Till and today I want to show you the new feature that we have implemented, the curves. So, to show you how the curves work, uh, I have opened a map here. And I want to refine my map today and add a few curves to it. To do so, um, let's first explain how the curves are working. The curves are uh, associated with the wall segment. So what we have implemented is we have implemented a new, a new segment type. When you select the wall segment, you have uh, three different states a segment can be in. It can be a straight wall, it can be a circled wall, and it can be a curved wall. Let's look at the circled wall. So what I want to do is I want to have a round staircase. So I'm going to adjust my map here. Um, I want to have a curve here. So I'm going to shift my wall point up here. Now I have this uh, diagonal wall segment and I can put circle to it. As you see, once you adjust circle, it always tries to round up the wall to fit a perfect circle. Let's look at this one here. Let's move that one up too and make it a round circle. And as you see, it's just a few clicks and you already have it. Uh, you can also adjust your circle and you can shift the handler and that will change the the curvature of your wall. So I could do a flat curve um, or I could do a very steep curve and if I move the handler outside I can also create an inverted curve here. In our case I just want to have it straight and if I want to be very precise I can also adjust the radius here but it's already fine. So using the circles is a very fast uh, way to implement curves to your map. All you need to do is you need to select the wall segment and set it to circle. Let's do the same down here. Let's move that wall point over here and circle. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, if you want to work with advanced curvatures, you also have the option to go to the curved walls, which are controlled by the typical Bezier handlers. And what you can do here is you have the Bezier handlers for each uh, segment, and you can start to adjust them in a way that fits your map. Another thing I want to show you is um, how to smooth up Bezier handlers because as you see I only have a handler for this segment but what if I would convert this segment also into a curve? Now I would have this one here. But depending on, on the segment I have selected those two do not work together. So what I can do is I can select the connecting point and I click on smooth. And now those two are connected to each other. And now I can start to adjust it in a way that fits my, oops, that fits my needs. There you go. Let's make this a little flatter. There you go. So basically that's what you can do with the curves tool. You can create circles, you can adjust them, you can create curved walls and just to showcase um, when you attach when you attach a door or a window it also recognizes the curvature so I can I could place a door here I could now start to create below ground. Let's go for the same. Where is it? There you go. Old dirt. No, pardon me. That's, 
That should be the wall. I want the floor to be solid dark stone and 300% here. So what I can do now is I can start to draw a room here and it also recognizes the curvature so I can set my points to here, to here and close it and I have a new room um, to make things prettier. I will now round them up and adjust them a bit. There you go. Perfect. Thanks for watching. As always, have fun testing and join us on Discord or in the forums and let us know what you think about the new feature. Thank you. Bye.